Somebody should be calling Christie on the sideline while the game was still going on. Be like, why in the hell is Kaylin not shooting the ball? Somebody should page her. Somebody get somebody to go down there and tap on the shoulder. Christy, you better you better find a way to get Kaylin this, this damn ball and have her shooting. I, I didn't bring her over here to be putting her in the damn corner, Christy. I'm going to put your ass in the corner. Hey, yo, what up? It's your boy Chocolati with the sexy body. Welcome to a new episode of Chocolati Plays. We are back. Reaction videos talking about your girl, Kaylin Clark, and a lot of other things that have been going on out there in the sports world. But... Can somebody please tell me what in the hell is Coach Sides doing? That's really who I want to talk about this episode. Because, like, honestly, I don't really know a lot about this lady. I don't know where she's from. I don't know her coaching experience. I don't know nothing. Except, except that they said that she is a defensive specialist. I'm not seeing that shit. I'm not seeing your defensive specialist skills on display. I am not with these lineups that you keep putting up there. And what the... Whose idea was it? Whose idea was it to wave Celeste Taylor? Now, I must admit to y'all, I didn't know who the hell Celeste Taylor was. <laughs> I have to be honest. I didn't know who she was. I've been watching these games. I ain't seen the play. I ain't heard nothing about her. And then I finally go and see that she's been waved. And I go look back at this girl's track record and she was good. So, I mean, she bounced around the transfer portal you know, between, what was it, Ohio State, I think, and, and Duke. She bounced around, but she was solid. Go look at her highlights. That she was solid. Solid two-way player, wing player, 5'11". Why the hell y'all get rid of her? Why y'all get rid of her and y'all kept Wheeler's 5'7 ass? I don't, I don't even think y'all gave Celeste a shot, a true shot. This girl could pass her ass off. She, she probably could be a bona fide like, starter in Wallace's spot if you want to run three guards to start a game off. They never gave this girl a shot. And now she's been waved and going about her way. You know what I think it is? I think it's because she was cute. I looked that up, but she looked good. I can't lie to you. You know what? Y'all getting rid of all the good looking players from the Fever team. <laughs> and, and hopefully, hopefully, Timmy can come back because Timmy's been practicing. And I don't think it's going to be this Thursday. I mean, it's a long shot, but I don't think it's going to be this Thursday. And they're going against the Storm this, this week. Um, Last outing they played, they I think they got beat by dang their double digits. But, but the game before that, they only lost by like two or three. So this team with the flow and rhythm that they can get themselves into, they can battle with the Storm. The Storm is up there with all these top-tier teams. You know, they've been having a rough outing as of late, but, I mean, they knocked out the Aces. So they're not a, they're not a, a, a sorry competitor, <laughs> just so to say. They're not a sorry competitor, and they put double digits on the fever before. Now – Coach sides. It's not the time to be waving players that you should be trying to utilize into your system. I don't understand why you was playing all those different lineups and didn't add her to the fold. You dropped Lexi's minutes all the way down to four. Hell, I don't even remember. They, they even took Wallace out the game and kept Wheeler in that damn near the, the entire fourth quarter. Why would you use up so many second half, um, uh, uh, so much second half time on Wheeler? Now, I was told that Wheeler and Mitchell came over in some package deal from Atlanta. I don't care about that shit. Because when we start talking about that shit, we're going to start talking about feelings. Because they was like, yeah, they came over in a package deal. So you know they got to get their minutes. They got to get their points. I don't care. Mitchell can score. We see that. She can score at will. But I need her to, to, to calm it down and control herself. Let Caitlin run this offense. Because you've seen it. She found her every time. She will find Mitchell every time. She'll pass it about. Now, Mitchell ain't going to pass that shit back to you. I'm just saying. Once you give it to her, don't think you're going to get it back. <laughs> and Wheeler, I, can anybody tell me why she's still on this team? Can anybody tell me what purpose does she serve? Because she's not better than Wallace, in my opinion. And she's not better than Lexi, in my opinion. And I know she's not better than Wallace, in um, Christie's opinion, because she don't start over her. She come off the bench. And she should have been coming off the bench behind Lexi. Hell, she should have been coming off the bench behind Celeste so we can see if she can get in there and play some defense. She's 5'11". 5'11". This girl is giving up five inches to her. Why, would, why, didn't you, why didn't you give a shot? I don't... The more and more I watch this shit, the more frustrated I get. The more frustrated I get, and I can only imagine how Cece feels when I see her in these press conferences. This girl is... I promise she is A1. 
She has been media trained. Her parents have raised her well to learn how to deal with adversity and hold yourself accountable, right? And and just be responsible. Be be humble. That's that's what she is doing all these meetings. She's doing exactly what Coach Sides wants her to do. I heard that Coach Sides don't want her to shoot the ball. She ain't shooting that hoe as much. I heard that she want her to pass and give it away. She been passing it. And what she do? She go over in the damn corner. That was a coach size to be like, like a damn decoy so she can let Mitchell and them do their thing. This is not team basketball. This is exactly why you had a 13 and 27 record last year. This is, this is exactly why. Right now, your record right now was one game better than it was last year. One game. And you was on a four-game winning streak that y'all gave up after being up by 15 points going into the fourth quarter. How in the hell do you do that? How in the hell do you do that? I'll tell you how you do it. You do it by putting three guards in the game and icing out Kaitlyn, where she don't get no shots. This took three shots in the second half, bro. Three shots in the second half. That shit is asinine. That is, that shit is uncalled for. Somebody should be calling Christy on the sideline while the game is still going on. Be like, why in the hell is Kaitlyn not shooting the ball? Somebody should page her. Somebody, get somebody to go down there and tap on the shoulder. Christy, you better, you better find a way to get Kaitlyn this, this damn ball and have her shooting. I, I didn't bring her over here to be putting her in the damn corner, Christy. I'm going to put your ass in the corner. That's what's going to happen. They, finna get, they gotta get rid of Christy. They got to do it, please. Please, please, pretty, please. At first, I was like, you know what? It's just, it's, it, I went through so many different phases with this, this whole thing, right? I was like, you know, Kaitlyn's tired. They're like, you know, Kaitlyn's not tired. She just, you know, she's not used to her team. They're like, you know what? She's better than her team right now. The team needs to get on the same page with her. Oh, you know what else? She's not turning the ball over as much as I think that she was. It's her teammates who can't catch the ball. I went through so many different phases to the point to where I was like, okay, the team is gelling. And now it's coach sides. And now that's all it is. That's all it is to me is coach sides. Over there pulling the strings, making these stupid ass decisions. I hope you're not the one that got old girl waved after I seen you talk about how much how good her defense is in these press conferences. Did y'all see them press conferences where she's talking about Celeste? We saw some things in some players, um, Timmy, Celeste Taylor. Um, I really was impressed with Celeste. I think she's a she's a she's learning to be a good defender. She had a we had a swing, swing, good to great. She nailed that three. That was great. She's looking to crash, and she communicates so well. So why the hell you get rid of her then? Against. And then next thing you know, she's getting fucking waved. So somebody explain the shit to me. Explain to me what Christy Sides is doing. Explain to me why she's not running the offense through Caitlin. E explain it to me. Is it because you got Mitchell here from last year? Let me tell you something. That shit didn't work. You only won 13 games. You got to try something new. This is to try something new. This is to try something new that you must be doing. And if you do not do it, you, get your ass up out of there. Get your new coach. Get your, go get your new coach. Go get you somebody younger. Go get Blutter. Bluter. How you say her name? I hope I ain't say it. I said Blutter the last time. I think somebody corrected me. I, it's Bluter, right? Go get her. She know what she's doing. She'll come out of retirement. I bet you she will to come in. For the right price, though, because remember, I bet you, I bet you, she's making way more money than y'all could probably pay her in the WNBA. So we gotta think about that shit. Now we're back to that Caitlyn being the reason why people are watching, and y'all need to get the money from this. You see what I'm, it all comes back to Caitlyn, guys. Caitlyn has to. I don't know if Caitlyn's not happy, right? I don't know because I don't know her personally. But just looking at her body language sometimes when she's out there, she looks very frustrated. She's throwing her hands up when players don't do, go to the right spaces, when they're running the wrong plays. Caitlyn can see this because Caitlyn is a point guard. She's a quarterback. She can lead the team. And when she's out there directing traffic, they're not listening to her. She calls for the ball. They wave her off. Like straight up just went, no, nah, I, I got this. What you, what you mean you got this? I, I'm Caitlyn. I'm the first round draft pick. I'm in this bitch to be the savior. Not you. Not you. White mamba mentality. I heard somebody tell me, she was like, she, 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 you can't be like Michael Jordan. You can't be like Kobe. You're right. You can't be like either one of them. You got to develop your own. But guess what? When Michael Jordan came out, everybody wanted to be like Mike. And Kobe is the closest damn thing. And I'm going to need Caitlyn to flip a switch. 
I can't keep this to this damn coach. And I ain't worried about what you're going to do to me. Because when we're winning and I'm doing what I'm doing, trust me, they're going to side with me more than they side with you. Sides. <laughs> All of it lines up. Seriously, they're going to side with her. They don't. They literally need this. Literally. The WNBA, all of they need this. You cannot tell me that this girl is not box office and the reason why all this shit is what it is. I don't care about two years ago. I care about right now. I care about right now when I got commenters who are talking to me, right? Subscribers who are talking to me from Malaysia, from Australia, from Canada, from Mississippi, from Tennessee, Kentucky, King Kingston. All these different places of the globe are watching this girl play. They're watching her play. They want to see her play. You mean tell me y'all couldn't find a spot for her on Olympic team? Y'all is y'all that won seven gold medals in the damn row. It don't matter if you win another one. And you was going with, with that stacked ass team you got over there. I keep everybody keep talking about who you gonna take out. I just they just did an interview, right, with Liz Cambridge. I saw her. I'm gonna I'm gonna put it somewhere around this. But they did an interview with Liz Cambridge, and she was praising Caitlin. I have seen anybody praise Caitlin that plays basketball. Right? I ain't seen nobody that praise Caitlin. They play basketball at the WNBA. Anybody who been speaking up for Caitlin, been, been, uh, who is it? Serena Williams, uh, a bunch of the damn male basketball players like Charles Barkley and, and, and LeBron and all them. And even the old lady that played tennis. What's her name? Mary Lou Wedding. I don't know. I'm, I, I'm butchered the name. I'm sorry. But Billy Joe King, Billy Jean King, one of them people. One of them. Even she's speaking up on her because they understand that this woman is one that can lead the charge into getting y'all what y'all want out of the WNBA. These women knock down barriers. That's why they speaking up for y'all. Serena Williams, all them damn grand slams and shit she got as a black woman. She's, and honestly, she's the GOAT. She should be up there on the GOAT pedestal when you talk about the best athletes on the planet. Serena who went and dominated in a white predominant sport. Tiger Woods, who went and dominated in a white predominant sport. These people need to be up there. They broke barriers. And this is what Caitlin has to do for the WNBA. Break the barrier. People, 2.3 2 million people were watching this basketball game between Caitlin and Angel. It peaked at 3.2 million. This is the highest views Ever, ever in the history of the WNBA, ticket prices are going out the roof. In a little while, they got the billions people their own stadium. And I was even saying about how much these girls deserve things like, like, like places where they can go and have a real press conference and not look like they're in the storage room. And I even got channels that talk about these girls don't deserve anything. Nobody don't deserve anything. That's not true. People do deserve things. Now. These girls have been working their ass off. It's just that it's been poor marketing, right? And poor entertainment. In comes some of the live entertainment we have seen in this rookie class that is coming into the WNBA. This rookie class is doing it for them. And Caitlin's leading that charge. Uh, I, I don't know if y'all noticed this, but if you go look at any platform, ESPN, all this stuff, they talking about Caitlin and Angel. They talking about Caitlin and Angel before they talk about Asia and Brianna. It's, it's, it's happening. The shift is happening. Those guys at the top, they're going to stay. Because I think Angel, I think Angel's only 26, 27. She's going to be there. She's going to be this league's Magic Johnson. She is. I, I, I thought it was Angel and Kayla who's supposed to be the Magic and Larry. And they can. They can, right? But Kayla's not trying to have a rival. I told y'all, she's against everybody right now. It's everybody against Kayla. Even a damn coach. They need to get gone. Get our ass gone. What y'all waiting for? I mean, you see how fast uh, the Lakers pulled the trigger over there. And didn't I tell y'all from that last video? Didn't I tell you that J.J. Reddy was going to be that damn coach of that team? All that other stuff was just smoking mirrors. It was smoking mirrors because they were going to be like, there's no way y'all can hire J.J. who has no experience coaching in the, the NBA or in the college ranks or hell, high school. I think he coached like AAU or some shit like that. But they had to show y'all something. Like this boy, LeBron James, is a genius. 
He is a genius. You, you, do you see how he is forcing his son into the NBA? He's forcing this. There's LeBron James' son. Bronny James would have never got a look from any scout if his father wasn't LeBron James. Please. Show me any other athlete that went through college that played, I don't know, a, a handful of games in college who's going to the NBA draft and he's going to get selected. He's going to get selected, guys. He is. Because there, you got to understand what LeBron James is. LeBron James is still LeBron James. At 40 years old, he's better than, I don't know, half your top five. He's better than, your, he's in the top ten. Hell, he's still in the top five, to be honest. You got to put him up in the LeBron James. Don't look like he lost too much of a step. He don't. When y'all show them dunks, he be missing and stuff like that. He missed dunks like that before. LeBron James is in the best shape I've ever seen a human being be in. There is no way you can't tell me that man is not using drugs. <laughs> no way you can't tell me that LeBron James is not using drugs. Been playing basketball for 20 years and still look like that? Hell no. Two me. He said he spent two million dollars on his body. I bet you some of that two million got to be some drugs. It got to be the best of the drugs that can't be detected because he can afford it. It's the same type of drugs that Matt Johnson took to get rid of the HIV. They got money for these things. They do. <laughs> they got the money. And they got the power. And you've seen LeBron James just flex his power to getting J.J. J.J. Redick, who don't got nobody's coaching, but he got him in there. And they going, you know what it's going to be like, right? Because a lot of people are thinking he's going to go in there and lose. No. The Lakers are about to make a blockbuster trade. Watch. They about to make a blockbuster trade about to get rid of D'Angelo Russell. They about to get rid of him. And they going to find a way to get uh, Bronny on that team. Wherever Bronny goes, trust me, LeBron James is going there because that was his goal. That was his goal. That was his mission. He's done with everything else. He can't catch Jordan in any other avenue. He's already passed him in scoring, passed him in assists, passed him in, he's passed him in all the stats except for the rings. And that's the only thing that's going to keep him from being better than Jordan. The rings. He's not going to get that. But guess what he is going to do? He's going to be the only billionaire that I know still playing basketball and playing basketball with his son. What if him and his son get a championship together? That's nothing that nobody can say then. There's nothing that nobody can say if LeBron James gets a championship with his son. Nothing. Right? You know what that's like? That's like Dion. Dion's trying to get a championship with his son. Yeah, he is. Dion trying to get a championship with his son, and his son still got like another year after this year if he want to come back and play quarterback. You don't think that Dion's not going to leave with his kids? Dion been coaching his kids since they could play football. He's been coaching them. You don't think that he's not going to leave and go to the NFL when his son gets drafted by the Dallas Cowboys? You hear it here first, guys. This is the first time. Chocolates, bold predictions. Bold prediction. They going to get rid of Dak. That's why they haven't gave Dak a deal right now. That's why they haven't gave Dak a deal. And Jerry Jones loves Shadur. Loves him. They going to draft that boy when it's time to draft. Trust me. And they going to get rid of Dak. They will get rid of Dak. And they going to get rid of McCarthy. And they going to bring in Dion as their coach. You heard it here first. Probably. I don't know. You probably watched somebody. But I, I promise. This is my take on this shit. Because I've just been watching how it's going. I've, I've watched how it's played out. I watch how it played out with LeBron James getting J.J. Reck to be the coach of that team so they can go and get Bronny. Right? They're going to make a blockbuster trade. Somebody probably like Paul George or Klay Thompson. They're going to get somebody over there. I, wouldn't, I don't want Klay, though. I don't want Klay. I'll take Bobo. I'll take Bobo over there. Because Bobo will be good anywhere. Bobo will be good over there and go to state, too. But I'll take Bobo with the Lakers seriously, and let him play. Bobo is just as good as Wimby. Yes, he is. He's just as good as him. It's just that when they put a spotlight on a player, all the other players, like, they isolate for him. They, they, they surround him, and they make him look better. That's, that's all it is. Wimby don't got that. Wimby don't got the marketing behind him. He's, he doesn't look like the, he's not the face that they want. A dark black dude like him with dreads, braids, I ain't not going to talk a lot myself, but I'm <laughs> but you get what I'm saying. He's not easy to market, but I look good, though. I look good with all this. I look good. That's why, that's why when I get on microphone, I'll be like, it's chocolate with a sexy body. I got to give y'all that before we get to it. Anyway, oh, we 18 minutes in. I heard somebody say it like my long form. We probably going to get into that.
sooner or later. But I want to see how the rest of the people take it. Like, do you want to hear more than 18 minutes? Because some people start to trail off. I don't want to keep going and you trail off. I want you to get the point. And the point is, the Fever will continue to be this mediocre team that they are until they take the chains off of Caitlyn. She's their superstar. And I got people talking about, yeah, she's good, but she ain't great. Who asked you? Who asked you? That's, that's my thing. Why do you have anything negative to say to me or to anybody about this girl? Because from what I saw, that she's great. From what I've seen, she's awesome. And if you let her ball, she'll show you how awesome it is. You, you saw it in this game against the sky. She started lighting up. She started heating up. And what happened? They took the ball away from her. Damn it. Take this job away from coach sides, please. Get her ass out of there. I'm tired of seeing her. I'm tired. We're going to. Somebody, well, don't, don't, I'm not putting that out there. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it because somebody might be crazy enough to go do that dumb shit. Because <laughs> I know y'all, I heard a breakfast club that a video gamer got cursed out by another gamer and found out where this dude lived and flew to his house from Jersey to Florida and attacked him with a hammer. So I ain't putting nothing out there. <laughs> Don't listen. It's some crazy people in the world, guys. They're crazy. Y'all be careful. Y'all be careful. And listen, guys, that's my time. Look for all you guys who check this video out. You made it to the end. I just want to say thank you. You're the greatest. Scooby Doo. Scooby Doo. Scooby Doo in the, in the comments if you made it to the end. Scooby Doo, where are you? <laughs> if you made it, guys, because that's showing me y'all some real ones. Y'all part of the Chocolate Crew, and we really vibing over here. And Getting some conversation going because, in all honesty, I truly want to see these girls succeed. And I'm going to tell you why I want to see them succeed, right? Because I have a niece. I have a niece that was hooping, right? And she loved it. She loved it. And it was one of the things that I saw that made her happy. One of the things, and I, that's just it for me. The things that make people happy. Those girls out there playing basketball makes them happy. They got attitudes and they aggressive, but it ain't my fault. All that shit they got to deal with. <laughs> but other than that, I got people. I got. A, I got a great. I'm a great uncle now, right? One of my one of my my nephews. He has a daughter, who says she won't grow up to want to play basketball. I want there to be a lane for these people, guys. It's a lane for them now. I don't give a damn about their attitudes and what the hell they be talking about. All that bumping the gums and shit. Cause I told you, I'm watching Caitlyn, and when I watch Caitlyn, I see everybody else, and I do chime in. Well, we'll check into some of the other games too because there are some great games. Like I watched the uh, not too long ago, just watched the Connecticut Sun and um, the Aces play. So I do watch a lot of these games, man. It's just that I told you, I didn't even really have love for sport like this anymore. Straight up, I didn't have no, I didn't talk about sports at, at all anymore. And now I'm talking about it again, and I contribute that to Caitlin. So these are your roses, Caitlin. If you hear this, I need you to flip that switch, White Mamba. White Mamba mentality, everybody. White Mamba, White Mamba in the chat. White Mamba in the comments. White Mamba, White Mamba, White Mamba. <laughs> All right, guys, that's my time. Hey, you know what you got to do? If you're brand new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button to become a part of Chocolatey Crew. Hit that like button. Hit that notification bell so you know when your boy drop videos. Peace.